There's lots of different ways to feed your baby. Um, lots of mums find it really easy in the first days to do a sort of laid back position, holding their baby really close to their body, skin to skin, maybe tucking feet away if you've had a cesarean birth. Um, but all that skin to skin and baby's reflexes which help them to bob around and find their way onto the breast. Later on you might find a cross cradle hold a little bit more comfortable, so holding your baby all the way across mum's body, tummy to mummy we say, and nose to nipple. And we say nose to nipple so the baby has to tilt their head very slightly to take a really big mouthful of the breast tissue. Some women will also find it useful to move babies across at times in a rugby ball position. Um, and again, keeping baby really tucked in close to her body uh, so that baby's really comfortable and so is mum. Some women will also find it comfortable to lie in bed with their baby, perhaps if they've had stitches, so sitting down is a little bit more uncomfortable. If you've decided to use a bottle to feed your baby, you can make use of those really close contact positions as well. So holding your baby really close, looking at them eye to eye, getting to know your baby and work out who they are and what they would like. How often you feed your baby and how long that feed lasts will vary from day to day and probably even from feed to feed. Um, some feeds will last for just a few moments, perhaps your baby's just needing a little bit of a drink and sometimes that they last a little bit longer. And one of the key ways that parents know that their baby's hungry and can work out when they need a feed is by looking for their feeding cues. So one of the first things your baby will do when they're showing you that they're ready for a feed is they might start wriggling a little bit, their hands will start going, their feet will start going, you might notice their eyes flickering and then maybe your baby will start to chew on their fist or smack their lips together and um, maybe dribble a little bit and these are all really good early feeding cues. If you wait until your baby's um, crying then it's often a little bit trickier to get them to feed. Expressing breast milk can be extremely easy for some women and extraordinarily frustrating for others. Women might choose to express breast milk because uh, perhaps she wants someone else to take a turn at feeding the baby, perhaps she would like to go out without her baby for a little while, or maybe it's time to return to work. Women can express breast milk in different ways. They can either use um, their hand to express breast milk or perhaps a pump, uh, either a manual or an electric pump, depending on um, how many times or how frequently she's needing to express. There are some hints and tips that might make expressing that a little bit easier. So some women find that having their baby or a picture of their baby or thinking about their baby can help release those motherly hormones which make the milk flow that little bit quicker. Some women also find it easier to express their breast milk first thing in the morning when hormone levels have had a chance to recuperate overnight. So knowing that something's right is a really difficult question to answer. Um, there aren't right or wrong ways to feed your baby and parents will be making decisions about what feels right for them and their family. For parents that have decided to breastfeed, Breastfeeding can be really tricky to start with and I would often describe it as a learnt skill. There are ways of knowing that your baby is thriving, that they're getting enough milk. Uh, for example, you might be checking your baby's nappy to make sure they've got enough wheeze and poos in their nappy and that's a really good early indicator of how well feeding's going. You might also notice that your baby is settling well between feeds, having periods of being awake and asleep. You might also notice that they're starting to put on weight. Now, most babies will lose a little bit of weight to start with, but by two weeks are back up to their birth weight again. It's also really important that mum feels comfortable, so that feeding is comfortable during a feed, but also in between feeds. There's so much about formula feeding your baby that is exactly the same about breastfeeding. So lots of skin to skin, lots of eye contact, following your baby's cues and getting to know your baby while you feed them. However, there are some things about formula feeding that are really important to remember. First of all, that you only use a first milk because this is one designed to keep a newborn baby safe. Secondly, that you follow the instructions on the back of your formula packet. And thirdly, that you sterilise anything that comes into contact with your baby's milk. Full instructions for all these things are available online. <laughs>